And around the world, governments are wrestling with the question of whether to make the coronavirus vaccine mandatory. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how a change on the U.S. Supreme Court could affect a vaccine mandate. COVID-19 deaths piling up. The state of Sao Paulo announced it's making the coronavirus vaccine mandatory, sanctioning citizens who refuse it. Legal experts say states here in the U.S. could do something similar. States can compel vaccinations in more or less intrusive ways. They can limit access to schools or services or jobs if people won't don't get vaccinated. University of San Diego law professor Dove Fox says states could also fine people who turned down the shot. As he told us in August, state governments would need to offer people an exemption for legitimate medical risks like pregnancy, but likely not for other reasons like a religious objection. Religious exemptions, philosophical ones, have largely been overridden in the name of public health. Religious exemptions led to such a decline in school vaccinations in California that state lawmakers banned them in 2016. Settled, right? Religious exemptions aren't needed. Well, over the last few months, legal scholars say there have been some signs of change on the nation's high court. We don't know where the court will finally settle on this, but it's worth noting that once settled issues are now potentially uncertain. Northeastern University law professor Wendy Parment says the change happened after Amy Coney Barrett replaced Ruth Bader Ginsburg. In November, the court issued a ruling on a New York case that took a much more expansive view of religious liberty over COVID safety restrictions. One opinion took aim at a 1905 case called Jacobson versus Massachusetts. That case has been the bedrock of vaccine mandates for over a century. We don't know where this is going. But we see that Jacobson, which is the foundational case that courts have relied upon for upholding vaccine mandates, its breadth, its importance, its precedential value is now in question. She says the November ruling may open the door for religious groups to file lawsuits claiming discrimination if states offer medical exemptions to a COVID vaccine, but not religious ones. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.